In this video, we're going to multiply two numbers. So there's so many different strategies for multiplication, so we'll go through a couple of good ones in the video. All right, so the first one is one times two. I know that any number times one stays the same, okay? So if you multiply two by one, your answer is going to be two. If you multiply five million by one, your answer is going to be five million. Anytime you multiply a number by one, that number stays the same. So one times two is two. All right, five times five. So that's the same as five squared. So for me, the easiest way to figure out five times five is to skip count by fives. Okay, so I'm going to do five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Five times five is 25. Okay, so for this one, four times four, that's four times itself. That is the same as we might say four squared. Okay, but four times itself. This time, maybe I'll do repeated addition. Okay, so four plus four plus four plus four. All right, so that's four plus four is eight. Eight plus four is 12. 12 plus four is 16. So these are all different ways that you could do multiplication, okay? Unless you memorize your times table, in which case you don't need these strategies for one digit multiplication. All right, one times four. So that brings me back to any number times one is itself, okay? So four times one stays the same, it's four. All right, one times two. Any number times one, whether it's two or two million, is going to be that number. So one times two is two. Five times three. So let's count by fives. Five, 10, 15. Five times three is 15. Okay, three times two. Let's do an array for this one, okay? So an array is the dots. So we have three. We have two rows of three. And then we can count how many we have. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So three times two is six. All right, and four times three, okay? So this time I'm going to skip count, but I'm going to do it by threes. So I'm gonna count three, four times. So three, six, nine, 12. Three, four times three or three times four is 12. Okay, two times three. So for this one, we can just add three plus three, which equals six, because that's three, two times. Okay, so three times two is the same as three plus three, and that equals six. Two times one, any number times one stays the same, so our answer is two. All right, five times two, let's skip count this one. Five, 10. Okay, so our answer is 10. Two times eight. All right, so for this one, Let's just do eight plus eight, because eight times two is the same as adding eight plus eight, which is 16. Seven times five. Okay, well counting by sevens isn't so easy, but counting by fives I know really well. So let's do that. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Okay, so my answer to seven times five is 35. Eight times three. 
All right, so we could either use our times table if we have one, but not here. Here we are going to go ahead and do repeated addition. All right, so eight plus eight plus eight will give us eight times three. Okay, so eight plus eight is 16, and then 16 plus eight is 24. And seven times eight. So this is where it's getting trickier because you don't have um, your easy ones to count by. Okay, so we know how to count by twos and by fours and fives, but we don't necessarily know how to count by sevens and eights. All right, so we could do an array and do seven rows of eight. Um, that might be take a little bit, but we could do it. So, or we could do tally marks. Let's do an array. All right, so we do one, two three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And as I'm doing this array, I'm realizing this has taken a really long time. All right. So I'm going to try a different method. I am going to count by sevens. Okay. So I'm going to make eight spots, so one, so I know my place since I'm not as familiar with counting by sevens, okay, so I know when to stop, six, seven, okay, so now I'm going to count by sevens, so seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49. And we need that eighth spot, 56. All right, so seven times eight is 56. All right, and eight times two, we know our times table is 16. All right, and nine times six. So for this one, let's count by nines. All right, so again, I'm gonna make six spots so that I keep track and I know when I can stop. All right, and then I'm gonna count by nine. So nine, 18, 27, 32, 45, 54. Nine times six is 54. 